Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Sicaran Venator Tank Hunter for Legiones Astartes for Warhammer The Horus Heresy from Games Workshop. Um, it's right here in this box. It doesn't have a plastic um, sheet over it anymore. Uh, that might be for all Horus Heresy models from now on. Uh, instead of the, the plastic sheet around Again, it might be for just Horus Heresy, or it might be uh, it might have expanded to Age of Sigma and Warhammer 40,000 miniatures. Um, but instead of the plastic sheet, where you get a nice, like fresh smell, I guess, <laughs> it's been replaced with these um, uh, sellotape taps um, on both sides. Which it is what it is, you know. Um, if it you know cuts the amount of plastic then that's great it's up to you if you want to risk uh, recycling this with these bits of um, plastic tape still on it's up to you on that one um, but uh, yeah it certainly beats having um, plastic wrapping that just goes in a general waste uh, so let's unbox this and when did the uh, last Sakaran um, release, guys? It was it was last year, wasn't it? Um, 2022. I can't actually believe it, uh, but it was the 20th of August, 2022. Eight months ago. Uh, so there's been an eight-month gap between the original sort of standard Sakaran in plastic um, from Games Workshop uh, to, to this Venator. Um, it will have used uh, a lot of the uh, sprues from then. Um, this says 2021, um, so this is actually a, like almost a two-year-old sprue. Um, this is all the tracks uh, for the Sakaran. They these tracks only work on the Sakaran. Uh, they don't work on the Kratos. The tracks for this are a um, bit bit thinner than the um, Kratos. Uh, this is the um, now infamous. Uh, sort of vehicle sponson sprue again 2021 and you've got all your weapons there you've got your heavy flamers your heavy bolters your volkai and your las cannons um i'm just going to go straight up las cannons it's you know it's a dedicated anti-tank vehicle i want to keep it that way and this is another infamous um vehicle accessory sprue which includes all of your hatches your pintle mounted heavy weapons your havoc launcher your uh, dozer blade your Hunter Killing Missiles, your smoke launchers, um, and even some tank crew with different head options as well. Uh, fantastic. And then uh, this is the main uh, Sakaran hull sprue, uh, sprue C. This says 2021 on it. It has both of the um, sides of the tank, the rear, um, the bottom uh, fuselage, and the track runners, uh, as well as some bits and pieces of the of the armor, um, and the, the front kind of uh, V section uh, of the armor too. Um, so that will not have changed. So now we're into the brand new sprue of um, this Venator kit, which is this one. Uh, so instead of those accelerator auto cannons, we've got um, a full, completely different top section. We've got exhausts. We've got the neutron beam laser itself. Um, you've got a different front uh, because you probably know that the Sakara normally has a uh, kind of hull mounted heavy bolter. You could have a pintle mounted heavy bolter, the hull mounted heavy bolter, and then two sponson heavy mounted bolters for a maximum of you know 12 um, heavy bolter shots on top of its main cannon. This Venator forgoes that hull mounted um, heavy bolter in exchange of a kind of view import, which does make sense. I would say for driving and direction, but maybe also for targeting too, um, with the beam cannon right next to it. But yeah, interesting to note that, you know, you've got a whole brand new section because they've moved the um, heavy bolter that would be hull mounted onto the top uh, of the tank. Very, very nice. This is the new sprue. This says 2023. So we've got some parts in there that say 2021, and then this sprue two years later. So this was this year that they've done that. Um, right, let's uh, get to the instruction guide. Uh, we've got the usual uh, transfer sheet, um, the Horace Heresy vehicle one. So all that is going to remain the same uh, as you'd have in the normal Sakaran um, box set. 
So both of those pages are going to remain the same as the, the standard one. This is where it gets a little bit different because you've got this new um, front piece, new top of the tank, new generators and cables that power uh, the weapon. And this is all new as well. So you've got the neutron beam laser that you put in the front. Um, yeah, it is a shame that it's not a dual part kit with the original Sakaran, but they would have had to include both of those big sprues in this set. Um, and I don't think that they could do that for the for the 50 pound. Uh, you've also got the um, Sponson weapons. And then a look at the uh, vehicle accessory sprue, uh, what you can um, squeeze on there. Uh, it's important to note that they haven't put an extra like heavy bolter there, which I think they probably could, but they have put a hunter killer and they've put some smoke launchers. I think it looks really cool with the smoke launchers on the front. Um, if you go on Games Workshop's website, you'll probably see like that configuration. Um, oh no, there it is. Yeah, it's this configuration look. So with this one compared to the other Sakaran, they've put the smoke launchers on there. I don't think I did that on my original one. They've also put a searchlight and a hunter killer. They've really, you know, uh, kitted this tank out, which is fantastic. I might put the smoke launchers on there because I think they do look very, very cool. Um, but anyway, that is my unboxing and first look at the uh, Sakaran Venator uh, tank hunter. I'll be building this uh, much sooner than the Cerberus uh, because I've just because I recently just um, produced a load of content for uh, the, the Typhon. And um, the main change is, is the front weapon, whereas, of course, the Sakaran, we haven't had one for eight months. What do you guys think of the Venator? Um, please do put your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.